Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today is Pack Battle Day. Average Joe and I go at it every Wednesday. We open the same product, and uh, you guys get to decide who pulls the best cards out of that product. Today we are going with Big League Baseball, a blaster box of this product. I know I've opened some of this already on the channel, but I like this product a lot. And uh, you do get some pretty cool inserts and parallels and all kinds of other good stuff. You can also pull autos and all kinds of uh, really neat cards can come out of here. Unfortunately, and I have to warn you, you can also pull mascot cards, which are dreadful. I think we can all agree they are horrific and that it's wrong that Topps includes them in a product that ostensibly is meant for younger collectors. <sighs> If I was a lad of like eight or nine years old and I pulled a mascot card, I would run fleeing from the room and I would I would never want to open baseball cards again. So I don't really understand why they do that, but we will be vigilant as we open this blaster box and any mascot cards that we find, we will immediately put to the side and I'll try to keep them from appearing on screen for very long. But, uh, you know, if, if you have a weak heart if you're sensitive to shocks and things like that. This may not be the episode for you. This may not be what uh, you want to watch today, and I understand why you might want to do that. But uh, in any event, this is what Joe and I are opening. It's Big League Baseball 2024. It's only the second 2024 product that Topps has put out this year. We get Mr. Kershaw involved, of course. Open up this box for us. As always, practice good knife safety. Keep these blades out of the reach of small children and anyone dressed as a mascot because those people, frankly, are disturbed. And they should not be allowed to roam freely in Major League ballparks. That is, uh, I will never understand that. That uh, It's like you might as well put some sort of chainsaw-wielding psychopath in the stands if you're going to put those mascots roaming around the stands like that. I mean, and I feel that way about all of them. I, I don't... Like, feel, oh, the Oriole bird is excused because I'm an Orioles fan. It's it's not like that at all. I think they're all creepy and and wrong in the stuff of horror movies. And uh, I don't know why I'm going through these. None of these feel any different from the others, but I'll pull one randomly out and put it in the back. And that way, if the last pack is indeed magical, it will be because of my magic touch. Yes. All right, let's get into this first pack and stop grossing people out and see what we get. Out of Big League today, in our quest to uh, defeat Average Joe, we start off very strongly with an orange parallel of Julio Rodriguez. That's a really good pull. That's a nice one. Joe will... Uh, Joe, I, I think Joe may have some trouble today. That's how we're starting out. We're going to do pretty well, I think. Edwin Diaz believes our chances are pretty good as well. Look how pumped he is. He thinks we're going to be winners today, and I agree with you, Edwin. Thank you for the enthusiasm, buddy. Edward Julian there from the Twins. Jordan Walker, that's a nice one as well. It is not a rookie card. That was uh, last year. Mike Trout, that's a good one, too. Put that in the Wolf Lair, and Walker, for that matter. Jose Soriano, rookie card there. Alec Thomas. And we get a To the Moon insert, which is my favorite insert out of this product. It's Pete Alonzo, the polar bear, going to the moon. I'll put that over here. And Marcus Stroman, who uh, has some kind of weirdness going on here at the top of the card. I don't know if that was cut wrongly or something weird happened to the foil up there, but that card is not that card is not right. There's something off about that. I'm going to put that up there in the uh, foil pile, which is what that is. And we already have four piles going, so you know it will not be very long before Card Wolf gets completely confused about where anything is on the table. Bryce Harper starts off there as he watches something that he hit sail up into foul territory. Yoshinobu Yamamoto from the Dodgers and Isaac Paredes. We got uh, Justin Lawrence and Chaz McCormick. James Altman, really good young player for the Dodgers, who I like a lot. We get to see what is in Henry Davis's fun box. Yes, let's check it out. Get you up close and personal with Henry Davis's fun box. He's an early riser. And he often goes to bed by 7.30 in the offseason. Well, it's when my uh, two-year-old daughter goes to bed, so apparently Henry Davis is an infant. Put that in the insert pile, and Riley Green Foil is what we finish up that pack with. Let's go to our next pack here. Again, we are trying to do better than Average Joe, and he has a tendency to just pull great stuff 
out of his packs. Here's Jacob deGrom starting this pack off for us. Leody Tavares and Bo Bichette. Ryan Mountcastle with his helmet flying as he rounds the bases for Baltimore. Kyle Hendricks and Joey Votto saying peace out. We got uh, Good Vibrations card of Michael Harris II, his second year. So nice insert there. like to see that. And Max Fried finishes things off in foil fashion out of that pack. We go to our fourth pack now in this box of 10 packs. That's another thing I like about Big League is you get a ton of cards, a lot of packs to open. It's a whole lot of fun. Justin Steele, who had a fantastic season last year, but I believe he's injured already this year, if I'm not mistaken. There's one of our orange inserts. I'll put that there. Kyle Harrison from the Giants. That's a rookie card. Another rookie, Nick Gonzalez and Zach Wheeler. Noel V. Marte from the Reds. That's another rookie card for us. Oscar Colas. And we got Zach Galen. And this is a backwards special card. This is the orange foil. We got one of these her blaster box, and Zach Galen is our guy this time. Another To the Moon insert that's pretty awesome. Manny Machado It's not a player I'm excited about, but they're still really cool inserts. J.D. Martinez finishes off that pack as we get to the halfway point of this blaster box of 2024 Big League. See how we do out of here. Whit Merrifield is our next orange parallel there. That's a pretty nice one. And uh, put that in the right pile. Estuary Ruiz, who I think is also injured. He was uh, playing very well for Oakland, but I think he hurt himself fielding a ball. Giancarlo Stanton and Joe Ryan. We got Walker Bueller and Shohei. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Put that in the wolf layer for sure. I think that might be the first Shohei as a Dodger card that I've pulled. I'm not sure. There's Sal Frelick, who somehow managed to get up to the plate and not have to wear a batting helmet. I don't know how he did that. But uh, I guess maybe there's some kind of exception for Sal Frelick. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Good Vibrations, and it's Noel V. Marte. We just saw him on his regular card. And there's the insert for that rookie. That's a pretty good one. Blake Snell finishes off that pack with his foil. We go on into the second half of this big league, big blaster box full of, I believe, 80 cards is, I think, how many they cram in here, which is... Completely appropriate. Luis Matos wearing the oven mitt as he runs the bases there. And Nolan Gorman, Jose Siri, and Jamer Condelario, or Heimer. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Tristan Casace there. And Heston Kirstad from the Orioles. That's a really nice rookie for me because I collect the Orioles. Put that over there. We get to see what is in Manny Machado's fun box. Too many Manny Machado cards out of this pack. Nice Josh Young card there. I'll wolf layer that. Manny's fun box which sounds like the name of a fast food restaurant or something. But Manny's Fun Box says that uh, Manny takes his gaming laptop and controller with him on road trips. I guess he likes gaming a lot? I don't know. I guess he must. It doesn't say what he, what games he likes to play. That's what I'm always more interested in. You always see these these things that say, oh, players, you know, they like video games or they, uh, they've always got their always got their uh, switch in their hand or something, but uh, you never know what games they're playing. That's what I want to know. Nathaniel Lowe there. Jordan Hicks is pumped. He could not be more pumped, in fact. He's so pumped he looks kind of scary. Speaking of scary, I'm delighted we have not pulled any mascot cards. So far, so good on the mascot front. That's awesome. Get these back in focus for you and continue on through here. Josiah Gray and Slade Sassoni. I think that's how you pronounce that. Slade Sassoni, rookie card there for the D-backs. We got uh, <clears throat> Victor Medeiros and uh, Emmett Sheehan. We got like three rookie pitchers in a row there. That's pretty interesting. You do get a lot of rookies out of this product, which is another thing I like about it. Jose Ramirez to the moon card there for that Cleveland player. And we got uh, Lars Nootbar finishing things off there with his foil. So far, so good on the mascots. We've got none, and we want none. That is our goal with this. If you're enjoying this uh, video, thank you so much. And please hit the thumbs up button. It really does great things for the channel, and I certainly appreciate it very much. We start this pack off with Kenley Jansen in the orange parallel. So put that in the orange stack. Juan Soto there for the Yankees. I'm almost certain that's the first Juan Soto Yankees card that I've pulled. Pretty neat seeing that. We got uh, Brian Wu from the Mariners rookie card there. Isaiah Campbell rookie, two rookie pitchers in a row again 
Andrew Benatendi and uh, Framber Valdez from Houston. We got Brenton Doyle from the Rockies rounding the bases. And uh, we get another insert here. It's Randy Rosarina. Good vibrations card. Pretty nice to see that. They're pretty inserts, I think. The inserts for this are really nice. Nick Castellanos from the Phillies in foil finishes that off. We've got just two packs left. Two packs in which we have to avoid mascots, and we have to pull something really good to uh, defeat Average Joe, who uh, I'm sure he'll pull some kind of numbered card or something like that, or maybe an auto or something. He just always seems to. There's Mitch Keller throwing for PGH, which I, I don't really... I know those are special uniforms and that uh, they're, you know, the cities like them sometimes, but I'm not into that one. Jake Cronenworth and Tawan Walker from the Phillies, Emmanuel Clace. Alexis Diaz, lots of pitchers in this pack, but there's Bobby Witt Jr. Very nice card there. Oh, good heavens, that was... Goodness, oh, man! I gotta take a gotta take some deep breaths after that. Whatever, whatever that was, I I just I thought we we had done okay today and that we were not gonna get any mascots. But then that feathered freak we had to see there. I'm I'm so sorry to have exposed you to that horrific sight. Yuri Perez be behind him. I'll just put that over there and uh, get that that horrible thing. Put that face down. Screech. Indeed, where that is what anyone would do upon seeing that. I think that's the second time I've pulled that card. I've only opened like two or three boxes of this, and Screech seems to be stalking me, which is beyond frightening. That is the stuff of nightmares. Somebody's going to make a horror movie about a mascot. If it's not going to be me, somebody else is going to do it, I'm sure. We start this final pack off with Cal Raleigh there, and uh, J.P. Crawford from the Mariners. Carmen... Lodzinski, rookie card there from the Pirates. And we got uh, Chris Morrill, man. Look at Chris Morrill. He is so pumped. He is really pumped. There are several guys who look like they're going to burst a blood vessel or something with how excited they are about whatever it is that's going on in that game. But, I mean, I know baseball is exciting, but simmer down there, Chris. That's a little too much. Ezekiel Tovar from the Rockies and Christian Encarcion Strand, rookie card for the Reds there. And I take, I take pleasure in not having any more mascot cards. We only got the one. It was one of the most frightful cards of all of them, but still, it was just the one, so I can't complain too much. We get Tatis on the To the Moon insert. Very nice to see that. And Sunny Gray finishes us off in foil fashion there. So I'm just going to put that Screech card way over here off camera. We don't need to even remember that card was in here. Got lots of rookies out of here. Our orange parallels were Jansen, Merrifield, Galen, Steele, and J-Rod. J-Rod was the first card we pulled. It may be the best card we pulled. That's pretty uh, nice parallel. We got several to the moon inserts. Um, but uh, really, I got to say, none of them are, are players that I'm all that excited about. And uh, we only got to look in two fun boxes today. I know that'll be disappointing to some of you, but uh, we did get plenty of good vibrations uh, from uh, several players there. And then uh, our foils weren't really all that exciting either. I got to say, Sunny Gray, Castellanos, Newt Bar, and uh, Riley Green probably maybe the best one out of there. I don't know. That's my opinion. And then in the Wolf Lair, we have a scant few cards that are actually Wolf Lair worthy. Josh Young, second year card. There's Kerstad, that's a nice rookie actually. Otani as a Dodger, Jordan Walker, and Mike Trout. Trout and Otani in the same pack, very interesting. See Average Joe's video. Go over to his channel, there's a link in the descriptive box below. View his video and see what you think of his pulls. Compare them to mine, draw up a chart if you need to, do some sort of math if that's what it takes. Whatever you need to do, compare and contrast his cards to mine and figure out who you think is the winner. Let us know in the comments. And in that way, you get to control the outcome of the pack battle. That's the best part of Wednesdays is you are the decider. Tomorrow is anything can happen day on the channel, and even I don't know what's going to happen, but I think it's going to be really fun. That's for sure. Friday, of course, is dorking with dice. You'll get some vintage baseball, vintage hockey, and hopefully the pack opening machine will be on hand to actually open those packs for me and keep me in line because I'm constantly forgetting how that, that show works. That that series just, it's confusing to me. Even though I created it, it's confusing to me. So I need the pack opening machine to tell me how dorking with dice works. We'll see that happen on Friday. 
Hope you're having a great week. I'll see you back here tomorrow, and as always, happy collecting.